Hello, this is Dr. J back with some more Let's Play Fire Emblem Engage. So a very frustrating thing happened. Uh, I lost the last video I was recording, like an hour worth of material, uh, due to a technical failure. The video is irrecoverable. Now the good news is, I was mostly just on the Somnial, getting caught up on the many upgrades and stuff that I had been planning to do. Uh, so at least I didn't lose a battle, which would have been much worse. So what did you miss out on? Well, you missed out on the cutscenes that take place right after the battle, but I managed to find a video of all the cutscenes from the game uh, on YouTube. I downloaded that. I'm going to splice in just the cutscene uh, that you missed into the video right, uh, right after I hit the load button here. So you'll get to see it. Just minus commentary, but you won't miss the cutscene. Uh, you missed me upgrading a whole bunch of my weapons, uh, doing some arena fights, watching some uh, support conversations, but I'm going to fill you in on as much of that as I can so that you're all caught up and you know what's been going on. Okay, so with that said, I'm going to hit load, then I'm going to splice in the cutscene that you missed, and then I'll be rejoining you after that. Ugh, this is so frustrating! Rosado! Gold Mary! All soldiers, retreat! They fled in a hurry. Hmm, there's a lot of damage to the bridge. It may take time to find a safe path forward. We didn't recover the emblem ring. We didn't lose any either. And most importantly, you're not hurt. Let's call that good enough. <sighs> you're right. It is plain now that Queen Lumera's stolen rings lie in Illusia's hands. In which case, we can deduce that they possess five. Five? Yes. Counting the rings taken from Lethos Castle. The rings of the Sage Lord, the Azure Twins, the Instructor, and of course, the Princess Exalt. Princess Hortensia was wielding the latter, as you'll recall. Besides those four, there was one entrusted to them by your forebears. Which one? If I may, I believe it's the Ring of the Lady of the Plains. The King favors it, or so I've heard. He keeps it in his personal chambers. His chambers? That's odd. Firne's ring has a hall in the castle all to itself. Where does your kingdom keep its ring? Like Firene, we store ours in a special gallery in the castle. Speaking of which, how soon might we be able to depart? I really am worried about the situation there. The soldiers should be back from patrol soon. Let's prepare to leave. Thank you. If anything has happened to my father or brother, I don't know what I'll do. what you said to me all those long years ago where are you brother I got a relay ticket for some reason. Okay. So, um, as I said, I upgraded a bunch of weapons. I won't go over all that. That's just details of how I'm outfitting my characters. It's not super important. And that information will become obsolete over time anyway. I also made a bunch of new uh, bond rings. Uh, so I'll just quickly go over what everybody's got now. Uh, or rather than going over what everybody's got, because that's kind of a low-level detail... 
I'll just go over the rings that I created. I created 10 rings from Celica. So we get a bunch of characters from her game, uh, Shadows of Valentia. Uh, and I got several copies of Fae, which I was very happy about because I will admit I am a Fae fanboy. Uh, and then we got a few others as well. Uh, and I created 10 rings from Micaiah. So we got characters from her game. Uh, Path of Radiance or Radiant Dawn, whichever one it was. Uh, there was one character I was hoping to get. I don't know the characters from those games that well because, I, as I said, I haven't played the GameCube games. Uh, but I know that there's... Her name isn't coming to me. But there's a mercenary sword girl who I like because I quite like her character design. I think it's cute. Uh, I didn't get any copies of her, unfortunately. But I guess we can try again later. And it's not like these Bond ring characters are actual characters anyway. They're just art with stats on them. So it's not like it's that big of a deal. Alright, so that's one of the things I did. At the arena, I had a uh, Fran... Uh, Fram fight three times because she was close to level 10. She actually won all three of her fights, which kind of blew my mind. One of the people she defeated was Saline, and another was Albert. I don't remember who the third was, but she was still just a few experience points shy of 10th level. And then I did a Bond fight where I had Yunaka fight um, Micaiah. Because Yunaka was the only one who hadn't reached level 5 uh, bond with her emblem. Uh, so that's how that went. I... Zappy, zappy indeed. I uh, had dinner. It was actually uh, Chloe who made the dinner. Uh, I, ah, I see that has changed. I see it's now Fram. Uh, and I ate dinner with Saline and Lapis, actually. Lapis liked the dinner that Chloe made, and Saline was not a fan. Uh, and also, it was a rank C dinner. So Saline has, or I mean, uh, Chloe has officially been our worst cook so far. Uh, it looks like maybe I can do it again, since the person behind... Since the person behind the counter has changed. Also, look at what a beautiful night it is. That is gorgeous. Look at those glittering stars. But anyway, maybe I can have another dinner. Uh, since now it's Fram manning the counter. I'm so happy you came! Our psychotic fangirl fangirling as always. I cannot order a meal, so I guess I can only do that once per fight. Which makes sense. It would be kind of strange otherwise. Uh, and here's Citrine, looking classy. Thank you. And also is apparently very classy to judge from her dialogue. I do like classiness, so I'm ch intending to try to get some support levels with Citrine. Uh, I think Lapis was in the vicinity of the garden, unless she has moved for some reason. Or the orchard, or whatever it's called. Nope, she's still here. Hi, Divine One. Hi, Lapis. Ooh. <laughs> uh, Lapis and Citrine are suddenly much friendlier toward me after that battle, so the taming has already commenced. Uh, and then finally, we have... Uh, Prince Gloomy and Pathetic, I think, was near the Lookout Ridge. Yes, here he is. Nobody has moved around other than the fact that it's now Fram behind the uh, food counter. I'm sorry. Not doing anything to improve my impressions of you, Alchrist. You are kind of a waste of space. Uh, all right. So, now I'm actually going to make use of that Reminisce feature back in my room so that we can review the support conversations that I did so that you don't miss out on those. Because this game sure has... Oh, I've now played for 12 hours. Look at me go. 
Because this game sure has support conversations. It surely does. Let me ho let's hope that I can remember the ones I had. It was only a couple. Uh, okay. Um, it was... Let's see. Yes, Alfred. I think it was just the one with Alfred between him and me was new. So let's watch that again. Morning, Divine One. Good morning, Alfred. That's quite the smile. Having a good day, are you? You can say that again. I got up before sunrise and did tons of training. Even got an early run in. And the cherry on top? I get to see your bright and shining face. What a day to be alive. That's a pretty weird thing to say, Alfred. That would be a lot less awkward to say if I had picked the female avatar. <laughs> There's no need to tease me. My response, likewise, is a little cringy, but would actually be way less cringy if I had picked the female avatar. And actually, the more I play the game, the more I'm getting the impression that the entire script was written with the female avatar in mind, and then it's also just used with the male avatar with zero modifications. And... That's why a lot of the dialogue seems kind of cringy and awkward, and it would seem less so if I had gone with the female avatar. Maybe I'm wrong, but I'm starting to kind of get that impression. Who's teasing? Wouldn't you be just as happy to wake up to the sight of a friend? Well, yes. I do feel happy when I see my friends. See? <laughs> Me too! But, uh, look, isn't there anything I can do for you? You've been awake a while, but it must be hard. There's bound to be a lot you're still adjusting to. Tell your friend Alfred all about it. Let me think. Mm. No, there's nothing bothering me at the moment. Good, great. But if there is something, well, I want to be the first to know. Before you left Lethos, you asked me as a friend to teach you things, to help you adjust. And knowing you wanted to be friends just tickled me. Our friendship makes me happy too, Alfred. I mean... As a guy, I feel pretty qualified to say the guys don't talk to each other like that. I sure don't talk to my guy friends that way, because that would feel pretty weird. <laughs> but like I said, that conversation would feel a lot more natural if I had picked the female avatar. So I don't know, I'm just getting that impression. Um, there was at least one other support conversation that was between a couple of the other characters, but what was it? I'm trying to remember. Uh, have we seen Clan and Louise? Uh, I don't remember, to be honest. Uh, I think we already saw Clan and Etier. Oh, I think I know which one it was. Was it, uh... Fram and Boucheron? I think that might have been it. Apologies if you've actually already seen this. I'm just trying to remember which ones were in the Lost video. I think it, the other one might have been Fram and Bouch. <gasps> Why? Why would they do such a thing? It's just... not fair! <laughs> Hey, Boucheron, right? Yes, and you're Fram, right? What... What is it? Do you need me for something? Um, no, I'm fine. I heard somebody crying their eyes out and I got concerned is all. Ah, right. Sorry for worrying you. I'm alright. Okay, but then what's with the sobbing? I was reading this book, and I just get so swept up in the story. A book did this to you? People tell me I cry too easily. The littlest thing is enough to set me off. Okay, I gotcha. So what's this book about? Well, there are these siblings who are separated during a war, and later meet again as enemies. Huh. Sounds interesting. I'd be happy to lend it to you after I'm finished. Thanks for the offer, but I'll pass. I don't really... Well, I'm not a big reader. Oh, well, that's a shame. Ah, what if I read it to you instead? 
What? That's sweet and all, but I couldn't ask you to read to me like a little kid. Oh, think nothing of it. I know you'd love the story just as much as I do. In that case, sure, why not? Hands off my girl, Boosh. I'm gonna have to keep an eye on him. She's my psycho fangirl. You can't have her. Uh, let's see. I think those were it. Uh, I think that you guys saw all the others that I've done so far. If not, well, sorry about that. I'm doing my best after a very frustrating loss of an hour-long video. Uh, I think that basically brings you up to date. So, there was one more thing that I was just about to do when... I had my technical failure, and that is I was about to make use of my master seals, which I probably could have done from my room, but I didn't feel like it for some reason. Let's use them out here on the balcony, sure. What the heck? Okay. An application auto-started that I didn't want to auto-start when I rebooted my computer. There we go. I've closed it. Uh, okay, where was I? Technical failure continues. Um, da -da -da -da, right. Inventory. So, I am going to give myself a class change because as the player avatar, it's never a wrong decision to make my character powerful since we lose if I die, and so on and so forth. So I definitely get one of these. All right, proficiency is required to change a unit into a different class. All units start with an A proficiencies. Units have the strongest potential in those areas. Units can acquire new proficiencies from emblems. This allows them to change to any class. So it sounds like you can just do crazy off-the-wall class changes, like take a character and change them into a crazy inappropriate class, and anybody can just change into anything, as long as you equip them with the right emblem long enough. I'm pretty sure that is not Fire Emblem standard. I'm pretty sure that normally characters have relatively restricted class trees that they follow. But not in this game, apparently. So our current class is Dragon Child. But we can level up into Divine Dragon now. Which will allow us to use Martial Arts in addition to Swords. Which is pretty cool. Uh, apparently we would need to get S rank in swords to become a sword master, or C rank in spears to become a hero, so on and so forth. But I'm going to go ahead and just become a divine dragon. Caper of the power of the great reigning dragon uses divine dragon swords and martial arts. Increases all of my stats, so let's do it. I don't really look any different. Oh, except I have an emblem on my forehead now. And did my uh, outfit get more feathery? I don't remember if I had those feathers before or not. Maybe those are new. I don't really look that different in general, but my stats are way better now. As for who the other character is who I'm going to level up. Yeah, see, Fram almost gained enough XP to get to level 10 from her successful duels in the arena, but she was just a few XP short, which is sad. Otherwise, I'd probably give it to her. I could do Chloe. I could do... I'm not doing Alchrist. Probably not doing any of the new arrivals. I could do Yunaka, Saline. Okay, so a few options. Let's see what they can advance into. So Chloe could become a Griffin Knight. Experienced knights who fly through the skies on a Griffin. They are well balanced and can use staves. That sounds pretty sweet, so I'll consider that for sure. Uh, skipping them, what would Yunaka become? Does she have any options? Maybe she actually can't become anything yet. 
I'm not seeing anything. Okay, Yunaka's out. How about Saline? Saline could become a Vidam. Vidame? Magic wielding swordswoman who can cut through enemy mages. She is also capable of wielding staves. That sounds pretty darn good. So that's tempting. I guess those are my options. It's either going to be Chloe becoming a Griffin Knight or Saline becoming a Vidam. Vidam. Honestly, that's a tough one. Uh, you know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm going to make a save real quick. And I might just be super shallow and base it on whichever uh, class up I think looks cooler. Because <laughs> I think either one would be useful. So what does Chloe's class up look like? I've I've lost my immodest sex kitten cleavage knight. That's no bueno. Okay. I think that made up my mind then. See see the incredible ways in which I make my decisions. This is called strategizing, viewers. Min-maxing and analyzing the benefits we get from the stat ups in excruciating detail. That's how we do things around here. Congratulations. Because the other class up made the character too modest, <laughs> you get to be the one who becomes more powerful. It's going to be interesting to see what her new appearance is. I wonder if she gives up her ridiculous hoop skirt thing. We'll find out. Okay, she doesn't really look different particularly. Yeah, I'm not really seeing much of a difference. Okay. Well, congratulations, Saline. Uh, so, you can now use staves, can you? Hmm. Let's put that in the uh, in the convoy. All right, so there we go. I guess you can take the partially used heal staff from from Fram. All right, now you get to be a backup healer in addition to a uh, Black Mage of Destruction. That's pretty cool. Uh, let me real quick go through everybody's inventory and see if there's anything else I want to stash. Ah, this Iron Great Axe. A massive axe that smashes foes. Cannot follow up or strike first if initiating combat. Okay, so take that off Citrine. All right. And who could use it? Boucheron, I, is, I assume? Wow, he is going to be loaded up. There we go. And you don't really need two vulneraries, so go ahead and store that. With that, I think... I'm ready to proceed onward to the next map. Uh, and this will be a pretty short video if I stop it here, so I, I guess I'll probably do so. Uh, it's actually super late, so I'm going to stop recording here, but assuming that I do put it into a single video, it's just going to be a brief couple second delay for you guys before we move on to the next chapter. Uh, either way, since you're now watching this on YouTube, you're in the future, 
uh, you'll already know whether the video is about to end in a few seconds or whether it goes on for like another 40 minutes. Uh, so either way, see you in the next chapter. Welcome to the world map. <clears throat> okay, that skirmish disappeared and then reappeared. Do I feel like doing any skirmish matches right now? I don't feel like it's particularly necessary. So, right now, probably not. I want to do at least one more story chapter. And maybe then I'll see about doing some skirmish battles. But for now, let's proceed onward to Brodia Castle. I have this nagging feeling like I forgot something, but considering that even though I lost most of it to that technical error I was talking about, I just spent like an hour doing upgrades and stuff on the Somnial. What could I have possibly forgotten? Oh well. Let's just go. We're here. Brodia Castle. Pretty cool looking, very imposing. I don't see any Illusion soldiers. Oh, thank goodness. The attack hasn't begun. Wait. There's someone in front of the gate. He doesn't look like a guard. Is it an enemy soldier? No, that's... That's Diamant! He must have come out to greet us! I hope he's a little more badass than you, Alchrist. I've been waiting for you, Divine One. I greet you as the Crown Prince of Brodia. I'm Diamant. I'll just call you Prince Bro. This character design really reminds me of another Fire Emblem character, but I'm having trouble putting my finger on it. I've heard so much about you. I'm honored to finally meet the legend in person. It's a pleasure, Prince Diamant. And Prince Alfred, welcome. Queen Eve's letter explained your situation. Thanks for coming all this way. It's good to see you. Likewise. I'm sorry it took a war for us to meet again after all this time. Oh, and Alchrist. Thanks for escorting our guests from the border. I know that's a rugged road. It was nothing, really. I bear ill news, however. Illusion forces attacked us at the Grand Crossing. Is that right? A battalion led by Princess Hortensia. We fought her off, but she said something troubling. The Crown Princess intends to assault Brodia Castle. If they're after our emblem ring, we may be on course for a dangerous confrontation. We'll have to prepare our defenses. Thanks for the warning, Alchrist. Come. Father will want to hear about this. Why do you all look so tense? My first impression is I kind of like Prince Bro. He's, he's like one of the first people we've met who's not a complete weirdo. Or at least doesn't seem like it. Father, you were supposed to be waiting inside. Yes, I know. And I was. But then, I had this feeling my boy Alchrist might be home. Seems my fatherly intuition was right, as usual. <laughs> Welcome back, son. Thank you, father. I wish you'd stop finding excuses to leave the castle. It's not safe out here. Please, Diamant, not another lecture. Where's the harm in welcoming my dear boy back from his journey? Anyway, we'd best not argue in front of our guests. Oh, it's all right. Please. Pardon my rudeness. Divine One, Prince Alfred, welcome. I am Morian, King of Brodia. Good to meet you. We are the Kingdom of Bros. Likewise. I never imagined I'd meet the Divine Dragon. Indeed, such a special occasion calls for a welcoming duel. There's no time for that. We have an important matter to discuss. It says a lot about this kingdom's culture that there is a thing that uh, of a welcoming duel. That, that, that this is a thing people do. As all Christ was escorting our guests from the border, Illusion soldiers attacked them. I'm on day three of annoying insomnia, by the way, so intelligent commentary is probably not on the table. Just fair warning. <laughs> Illusions. 
It appears that the Crown Princess is planning an assault on Brodia Castle. Already making their move, huh? Soldiers, go now! Shore up our defenses! Yes, Your Majesty. Well done getting that information, Alchrist. Please, I don't deserve such kind words. Humble as ever, son. <laughs> huh. King Morian, excuse me, but I need your kingdom's aid. You want our emblem ring, right? <laughs> I knew you'd ask. That's why I brought it. Here, the ring of the young lion. Hey, Diamant, think fast. Father, we're supposed to take care of the ring. Not throw it around. Yeah, just tossing emblem rings around seems kind of disrespectful, I have to agree. Ah, you're no fun. Um, Alfred? Yes? King Morian seems so... nice. This is the man who's always invading Elucia? I thought he'd be more... intimidating. You know, now that I'm viewing this through the lens of imagining all this dialogue having been written for the female avatar, it makes a lot more sense. You're seeing Morian friend and family man. He's known to be a big-hearted guy. But in battle, the demon comes out. He's not someone you want as your enemy. Cool. Ugh. Father can be such a handful sometimes. Divine One, I've got the ring for you. Thank you. What will you do with it? I'm going to summon an emblem. So, who's Rise the up. young lion? Uh, who is this? He looks familiar. My lack of Fire Emblem expertise is showing. I'm Roy. If you're summoning me, that can only mean war has begun. Right, Roy. There was a person in there? I honestly don't remember which game he's from, though. <laughs> How about that? All along, this emblem dwelt in our family's ring. And now you have released him. It seems divine is no exaggeration, huh? Wait, 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 wait. This actually might have been from one of the games I played. Um, because I played Binding Blade and Blazing Blade. Ugh, I'm stretching my memory. Is he from one of those? I'm starting to... Th I'm getting the vague feeling he is. It's just been so long. Urgent news, Your Majesty. An illusion Wyvern Rider is approaching. It's dodging all our archers' attacks. What? She's here. Divine One, may I call upon Roy's help to defend the castle? Of course. I, Princess Ivy, speak for the Illusion Throne. I will now take your life. It looks really hard your to see through that. And the rings. Another super practical battle outfit, I see. There's so many of them. I underestimated how far you could get into Brodian territory, Princess Ivy. You suddenly look about ten years younger with your in-game model compared to your cutscene model. My soldiers are on the way. Now, I will give you a chance to surrender before they arrive. Oh, I'm itching for that fight. Father, go back to the castle. What? Why? If something happened to you, our country would be devastated. Please, leave this to us. Right. Why should the king get a say in the matter? I'll do as you ask. But, Diamant, Alchrist, don't you dare get killed. We won't. Well, we'll try not to. You must be the Divine Dragon. That's right. Seriously, what is up with that weird mask thing she's wearing? You really are as stunning as my sister said. I'm pleased to meet you. As is my ring. But that's... The ring of the Sage Lord. 
A gift from my father. With its power, I am sorry to say, I must kill you. I won't let that happen. It's you who will fall, Princess Ivy. You won't surrender then? In that case, my forces will prepare for battle. As will ours. I'll stop at nothing to get those rings back. You know, in a world full of weirdos, Alucia seems to have the most weirdos of all. It's almost impressive. Let's get the lay of the land, as usual. Hey, we've got... Okay, Diamant already attuned to Roy, or whatever the terminology would be. Yeah, I'm... Now that I think about it, I'm almost positive Roy was in one of the games I played, but I don't remember if it was Binding or Blazing Blade. Anyways, so... Oh, they're attacking us with Corrupted, huh? They have Lances, here we've got an Axe Flyer. Axe, Mage, Axe, Mage. Okay, there's a Swordmaster, Kagetsu. Ivy and Unsure also has an axe. Zelkov has a dagger. Mage, 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 axe, lance. Okay, finally a couple of sword fighters. I was starting to think the enemy might not have any. It's almost too bad that they do or I could have specialized my attacking force. Looks like we're about to get tutorialized on super long-range weapons. Traditionally, these can only be manned by archers, so... I'll take Etie and deploy her pretty forward so I can get her to that as fast as possible. Of course, it's possible that mechanic has changed. Who else to bring along? Okay, so Saline's already overleveled and has now classed up, so I'm going to leave her behind. I'm going to leave Prince Gloomy Pants behind because it, between him and Etier, I'd rather have Etier as my main archer. I mean, it says a lot about my opinion of Prince Gloomy that I'd rather have the one dimensional muscle head on my team. But that's the way it is. So I've got two Axe users. I've got Boucheron and Anna. And Anna's a very cute little kid, but for the sake of not running a complete daycare, if I'm only bringing one Axe user, I think it's going to be Boucheron. And I kind of want to bring both Citrine and Lapis, so I'm going to make room for them. Who gets the cut if I'm bringing the two of them? Now we're down to tough decisions. So Albert's level 8, Chloe is level 10, level 9, level 7, I don't want to leave all, I, she's my only flyer, so I don't think I want to leave her behind. Hmm. I don't want to leave my armor knight behind, because armor knights are super useful. Okay, you know what? Uh, sorry, clan, but I might be bringing Citrine. Ugh, I want to level him up, though. He's only 7, and I don't want him to fall behind, so no, nix that. I know, I'm really waffling here. Alright, sorry, Albert, but I'm swapping you out for Citrine. And I think that's going to be our team. Sorry I spent so long making that decision, but we're at the point where it's not altogether easy to decide who to bring along. If we've got Lancers on that side, an Axe, Axe... Okay, a couple of Lancers followed by a whole lot of Axe dudes. And on this side, we've got the Sword Fighters in the front, so on this side are going to be... Oh, Chloe's my only Lance user who I'm bringing, isn't she? No, no she's not. Her and Louie are going to go that way. And on this side, the Sword Fighters will lead the way. Oh wait, no, we've got enemy Lancers, so... We're going to want Axe Fighters leading the way. 
Uh, okay. So that's gonna be Boucheron. Oh, is Boucheron the only one I'm deploying? Maybe. He's gonna see a lot of action then. Good luck, Boosh. Okay. That's more than enough dilly-dallying on the setup screen. Let's go. Oh, victory, defeat, Ivy. So let's try not to prematurely defeat our enemy this time. Also, defeat is if I'm defeated or foes reach area. Which area? Probably this. So let's not let any enemies through. Or we could face a sneaky loss. <sighs> Finally, Horsey, you stopped! <sighs> Where were you taking me? Another weirdo. Huh? Wait, uh... Is this the castle? Is that Prince Diamant? Isn't Amber ordinarily a female name, or is it actually unisex? I'm actually not sure. Amber? What are Illusion soldiers doing here? They've attacked us. Say, Amber, weren't you out fighting beasts? I was, but then Horsey got spooked and wouldn't listen to what me. What are you, five years old? I kept getting tossed around on his back, and next thing I know, here I am. <laughs> I'll never understand how you end up in these strange situations. But this time, it works in our favor. I was just wishing you were here. Maybe Horsey sets this danger. That's so clever of you. Ready to defend the castle together? I was born ready. If our enemies reach the gate, the castle will be theirs. I know, don't let we them can't through. Allow that to happen. Having deep and complex characters and thoughtful, mature dialogue is not exactly this game's strong suit. Let me at him. All right, do you have to actually physically stand on this in order to use it? Also, what is the enemy's? Okay, we're pretty safe here in the starting area. Okay, I might have to physically stop right on the ballista, not next to it. Alright, couple of sword users. Understood. Louis, over this way, please. Chloe, you can... Well, let's see. What have we got over here? Lancers. Okay. Yeah, Chloe. Park yourself next to Louie. Over here, we've got Lancers, so I want to lead with Boucheron. I'm ready for more. I can fight. I actually don't want to make a target of myself for the Lancers. Not unless I have the Rapier out, anyway. No, never mind. The rapier is not just anti- it's not anti-lance, it's anti-rider and anti-armor. Those guys are neither riders nor armor, so just chill out here. I'm prepared. Lapis, you're with me. Show me the way. Citrine, you're also with me. I want a mage in both directions. Right at me. So clan. Look, I will put up with a fair amount of creepy fangirling from Fram. I will put up with zero creepy fanboying. They they have the exact same <laughs> dialogue when I select them. The difference is, yeah, I'll put up with it from Fram. All right, Fram, get over here. Clan, over that way. Diamant is a level 11 lord, so he's not a promoted class, but he could get promoted. Let's send. Together, we will defend the castle. Excellent offense and defense. Well suited to the front lines. Sync skill holdout allows the unit to survive most combat with one hit point. Fascinating. If you start off with 30% or more hit points. Engage weapon Lance Reaver is strong against lances and weak against axes. Rise above temporarily raises the units. Well, these are interesting set of abilities and some of them sound quite good. Blazing Lion strikes several spaces in front of the user and ignites train in flames. Well, dang, Roy, you're pretty strong. Maybe I should have led the way with him if he uh, has a weapon that's good against lances, but as it is, I'm going to put him here as sort of a non-committal, so I can send him either east or west. 
Right now it's looking like probably east, because that looks so kind of undermanned here. So yeah, he's probably going to go with the east group. Al or Amber. Uh, you got it. You just bring up the rear. Uh, yeah, that's it. I have a use for you, man. You're the rear guard. If any enemies get by us, take them out. It's actually it's legitimately an important job. That said, am I ever likely to willingly deploy Amber, considering he talks like a five-year-old? Probably not. I make two factors in my decisions about what characters to deploy. A, which characters I like, and B, which... We will not relent until the castle is ours. And B, which characters are effective. So I don't just consider one or the other, I consider both. That's always how I've played games like this. Oh, is that a reinforcement from off map? These all come at once. Our defenses won't hold. Our castle has a ballista. We can use that to pick them off. Okay, exactly what I expected. Okay, limited uses, got it. Ten uses is a fairly large number, though. First thing I'm going to want to do is try to take out the enemies that are trying to bust through. Um, there we go. Wait, this is... Oh, do I actually still have to select a weapon? Okay, even when using the ballista, I still have to select one of her weapons. That threw me off. I wasn't expecting that. Anyway, take this guy out. Or hurt him, anyway. Nice shot. Well done, NTA. Alright, clan, you're still lagging in levels, so try to take the kill on this guy. For the Divine Dragon. You did, you got magic up. Actually, that was a good level all around, so well done. Soften him up. I'm probably going to level Chloe, like, all the way up to 20 before I class her up. For reasons. <laughs> All right, take this guy out, Louie. That was eye-opening. Was it, though? Your eyes are still closed. Yeah, let's send Diamant or Diamant over this way. Because otherwise they're pretty undermanned with just, like, three people. Sounds like he's super strong. So, actually, if they're going to be busting through here... Yeah, now that I think about it, I might want him as a guard for the Ballista, actually. Let's do that. Really kind of spreading my units out, but since we have to defend this point and the enemy is attacking from all directions, I think it makes sense to do so. Alright, Boosh. Can you actually get the kill here with any of these? He used to steal one, I guess. Alright, now this guy can't attack because he's broken. Let's see. I'll move to here. Take out this enemy. Victory was mine. Lapis with me. I'll take this. Don't waste my time. 
All right. Citrine over here. And Amber, you like I said, you're the rear guard, so you're going to be there a lot. Oh, I didn't realize that was, uh, that Louis was vulnerable to that mage. Great work, Lavis. Made quick work of that. You did. Yep, they have reinforcements flying in from off map. All right, Louis. Take the kill. Was that sufficient? It was. Clan, show this guy what a mage can really do. Chloe can't quite get there to attack the mage. Oh, this guy has an exclamation mark, didn't he? Right, he has a high chance of critting Chloe because of his wind magic. That's true. I shouldn't make her vulnerable to him then. Just chill out here, Chloe. Glad I noticed that. Alright, Diamant, take this guy out. Oops. I don't think we need to engage yet. Oh, it's an armored dude. Hmm. Hmm. Can Citrine make it down there to deal with him? He's an axe user. They are really just trying to pour in from this direction. Interesting. Alright, well, Amber, I'm bringing you in already. Sadly, he doesn't have a javelin or anything. Alright, well, just park here, I suppose. No, no, no. I, I want you to use the ballista. Right, fire. Okay, there we go. Good lord. I feel like the ballista's weirdly unintuitive to use. Yeah, take out the flyer, I think. Maybe. Yeah. Forty-one damage. Superb. Go ahead and engage. Stand down or perish. You know, it seems like we're getting one uh one engaged character from each game. And I know we're getting Lynn from Blazing Blade, so Roy must have been in Binding Blade then. That's where I'm remembering him from. Good grief. Blazing Lion, attack area, and set it ablaze. You know what? Why not? Let's do it. I will win. It's time. Oh, I shouldn't have used Lance Reaver, because it's weak versus axes, and this guy's got an axe. That was stupid. You know what? Screw it. Let's go back. One action. Let's not use Lance Reaver when we're fighting an axe, dude, because the game literally just told me about that. Emblem, engage. Steel sword, then. There's my opening. There 
There we go. That should help defend the west. East is a little vulnerable, but I don't think that's a big deal. We'll take care of them. The rest of my group is going to pour down in this direction, then. Let's go. Charge. Nice dodge. That TA is taking a beating. That was a good session. Cool. That'll be useful. They're still getting reinforcements. Citrine. Yes, she can get close enough to take this guy da down. Well done. Please forgive me. I really thought her personality would be a little more evil based on first impressions and her appearance. But apparently not. All right, go ahead and take this guy down. Okay, so is that person using a sword? Okay. That was a fierce battle. I like how he's got wings made out of like glaives or halberds. Secret book. I don't remember what the secret book does. It's just a scratch. Take out this flyer. As long as my, uh, as long as I maintain control of the ballista and its ammo holds out, the endless waves of enemy flyers are not going to be an issue. Oh, one of the, uh, one of what's-her-face, Ivy's lieutenants is coming forward to play. Alright, I'll throw down with you. Don't want to engage yet. Oh, he has a high chance of critting. Is he equipped with... A weapon that has a high crit chance, I suspect? Probably. I'm going to be disrespectful and not engage yet. Lapis. Take this guy out. Don't waste my time. Well, she got strength and hit points, so it definitely could have been a worse level up. I really like Lapis's character design. Uh, it's almost a sensible battle outfit, which is unusual. But it's also cute at the same time. I am a fan. It's not easy to achieve both of those at the same time, but I think that her design does. Hmm. There, go ahead and chain guard. And Boucheron, you can park yourself here. Uh, Amber, you can still just chill out here. 
Over on this side, we've got mages, and we'll have incoming flyers. They seem to be equipped with axes. Well, anyway, let's uh, let's just start getting down there. What do these mages, what are they equipped with? Fire? Fire. Alright, as long as they don't have wind, then uh, Chloe will be very effective against them. Leave now, or my duty demands you be destroyed. Nothing personal. Nice dodge. My name is Kagetsu. Pleased to meet you. If only it were under friendlier circumstances. Don't think so! <laughs> nice! That worked out exactly as I wanted it to. Hey, Fram hit 10. Not a great level up. Next time I get a... Uh... Master Seal, I'll probably give it to Freyam. Okay, it's on now. The two lieutenants are attacking us. Alright, Lapis, can you handle this guy? Do I want to give him first blow? 19% crit chance, that is worrisome. Maybe I should take him out from a distance. Nice work. And now Lapis should be able to kill him in one hit. Does 11 damage for the kill, 100% chance. That'll do it. I am defeated. I am defeated. I must retreat. I've played enough Fire Emblem games to know to be scared of enemies with high crit chance. Especially from ones where you can't turn off permadeath, that can ruin your day in a hurry. Beautiful. And Fram should have type advantage against Mr. Edgelord here. Let's see. What are you? Axe Flyer. Actually going to... I could one-shot you, so I will. Nope, still don't need to engage. I am guided by the emblems. And Fram, take this guy down. Oh wow, look at that! She will wreck his face! I did upgrade her iron body art up to plus three, which increased its might by a kind of insane amount. You dare. Oblivion is near. What an edgelord. How unfortunate. I must return to Princess Ivy. Get out of here. Grants immunity to freeze. What the heck is freeze? Have I even encountered that yet? Uh, I'll tell you what. Just park next to me. Maybe I should even back her off out of enemy reach. Nah, I'll park her next to me. That's fine. Uh, Boucheron this way. I don't think the rear guard has anything to do this turn, so they'll just chill out. Hmm. Okay, so. Chloe, see if you can lure this mage forward. Or clan. Either way would be fine. 
Louie, I don't want you going up against a magic user. I think that's everybody. Can't touch me. Such tenacity. All right, I'll step in. With this ring, nothing and no one will take me down. So, who's your emblem and what does it do? Yes, we're about to find out. The strength of the Stuart. All right, Chloe, do your thing. Ooh, if I can lure her in the range of the Ballista, that would be fantastic. Kinda hard to see its reach. Oh, it'll be easy to lure her into its range, actually. Okay. Fram should have type advantage against enemy mage, so... Oops. Kick his ass. Don't let with the steward. <laughs> and we've got another mage over there. Citrine, how would you do? You'd weaken him up. So do that, please. And I'll go for the kill. This time, victory was mine. Oh, coming right in the range of my ballista, you fool. All right, let's finish off this enemy here. Shall I give the kill to, yeah, let's do clan. <laughs> and now get wrecked with this emblem strength and my own there will be no defeating me there goes your revival gem ha <laughs> too easy Let's go to engage mode. Emblem engage. Now. Yeah, having Chloe soften her up seems advisable.
adaptable. Her emblem is kind of far away, so I couldn't get a good look to know if it's someone I know. I want to go for the kill this turn. How would uh, how would Lapis do against her? Ooh, the Iron Blade would do well. Would also knock her away, so it might be better to use that as a finisher. That said, can I even get anybody else close enough? To weaken her up first. Fram. Fram could do it. Wow, Fram would just straight up kill her. Fram has become crazy strong since I upgraded that iron body art. Wow. Even with her low strength. Okay, how to do this then? Hold on, I'm strategizing. Alright, here's the plan then. Lapis, move to here. Attack. Use the Iron Blade because it'll do a ton of damage. Knock her back. That was fantastic. Well done, Lapis. Boosh, just park yourself. Well, could he get the kill, actually? He is low level. Looks like he could get the kill. Yeah. 95% chance anyway. I'll gamble on that. Park Fram next to him. Sure, go ahead and engage. Ninety percent. I think Iron Axe will be the best. I had to upgrade Boosh's weapons to make him more effective. No, the ring. I mean, you did fly into range of a ballista. Lapis is MVP. All right, we did it. Chapter 8 cleared. Well, that's going to do it for this episode. Next time we watch the post-battle cutscenes and probably going to do a couple of quick skirmish matches with uh, combat animations turned off is I'm guessing what I'm going to do. Hopefully you'll join me for that and I'll see you then.